When I first heard about these three programs, I thought the title was very odd. Unknown. Why unknown? My father was the most famous man in films, and everything that he'd made had been seen time and time again. And yet when I saw the programs, there came as an incredible surprise. I was surprised by seeing films that I didn't even know existed. I was surprised at the sheer photographic quality of those early pictures. It's unbelievable. And I was surprised at how young he looked. There was this charming, beautiful, boyish young man who was not only the highest paid star in Hollywood, but who was also his own writer, his own director, his own producer, his own editor, actor. And then when sound came in, he even wrote his own music. You'd think that he would have been very proud of all that hard work. Well, he was incredibly secretive. As children, we all recognized his genius. We all realized that he was a genius. But frankly, we weren't very curious. And sometimes if we did ask him something, he'd say, get on with your homework. I understand why now. Someone defined art as concealment of effort. And clearly the effort involved in making a Chaplin film was superhuman. Partly because of the way he worked. Apparently, sometimes he would begin with only one single idea and then he'd just make up the rest as he went along. And often he'd get stuck and repeat the same scene again and again and again in hope of sparking off some idea. And I realize now that he probably would like most of this to be forgotten. And yet, far from diminishing his status as a filmmaker, it made me admire him all the more. Now, how did all this material come to light? Much of it was preserved in my father's vault. He had ordered it to be junked, but the orders hadn't been carried out, thank goodness. And my mother made the material available to the producers, to David and to Kevin. And as soon as this happened, rare Chaplin footage started appearing as if by magic. There's an American collector called Raymond Rohauer, who years before had acquired the outtakes of the comedies my father had made for Mutual in 1916. These two had been ordered to uh, be burned in the 50s, but this man had saved them, thank goodness. And there's some incredible footage that was taken, that was photographed on the set of City Lights by a good friend of my father, who was called Ralph Barton. And this was preserved by his nephew in Kansas City. All these priceless discoveries have been combined with the more well-known sequences to reveal in the most in incredible, moving way something that's never been seen before, which is Charlie Chaplin at work. <laughs>